morning. It's 9 a.m. Welcome to day two. It is a beautiful day in Las Vegas. The sun's out. There's a nice cool breeze. Uh, it's going to be about 23 today Celsius. Uh, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt right now. Comfortable. It's going to get warmer. This is perfect. Uh, I'm going to go in to El Corte. I'm just walking outside getting some fresh air. I couldn't lie in bed anymore. Uh, Heather's still dead to the world, but uh, hopefully she's not hung over. Uh, she took the hangover stuff, I know, before we went out, but then things got messy <laughs> by the end of the night. And uh, I think we both passed out around 2.30, 3 o'clock. So I don't know if she took the extra stuff she's supposed to before bed, but we'll see when she gets up. It was a f very fun night last night. Uh, typical first night in Vegas, drinks start flowing and you end up just, yeah, going a little too hard maybe, but that's Vegas for you. But the gambling, I've already said it couldn't have been worse. The amount of games we played, which you wouldn't even see in the vlog because we didn't get any bonuses. So we just played machine after machine chasing some maxed out majors and um yeah got nothing so uh, when we ended up falling asleep like i said around close to three i was just thinking i'm like oh i think my wallet is empty and it pretty much was when i woke up this morning so that was a rough night look at the el Cortez. this is why look at that el cortez that's just classic right there it looks so good in the sun so we are staying, like we said, we're in the Cabana Towers across the street. They're nice. Like there's, for an El Cortez room, there's lots of space. Um, it's not luxury. Like it's, if you're thinking Cosmo, Circa, Wynn, you know, your expectations are too high. So for the El Cortez, those are nice rooms. The only complaint I have is the water pressure in the shower sucks. So like I don't really get hung over I had a little bit of a headache this morning I took something and I was fine but um, like I like to get in the shower <laughs> in the morning and just blast the hot water on me after a night of drinking and yeah there's just not enough pressure there so that's my only complaint but other than that to get fr a free room in Las Vegas on the weekend uh, a busy weekend it it's well worth it so no complaints other than the shower. And then um, I also got uh, 25 free play and 25 food and beverage, so that was good. So one other note about that though, and I know I'm talking a lot, so if you wanna just fast forward, if you don't wanna hear me talk. Um, I, El Cortez puts their offers out every three months for a three month period, right? So every quarter. I've since November of 21, since we started coming back after COVID, um, I've been getting comped rooms on the weekend plus some sort of food and beverage and free play. And then it was slowly going up because we were playing so much. So, you know, it would go from 25 to 50 to 75. I'm talking about the free play and all that. Then all of a sudden for the last quarter, I get my mail offer and it was just 20 or 30% off the regular rate. No free rooms, nothing. So I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. But then my brother, who's only been to Vegas once, if you watch all the vlogs, he was here for Heather's birthday in July. He got comp rooms on the weekend. And then Don, who barely plays because we use my card when we're here together, he was getting free rooms. So Heather's like, you should call. And I, I'm not one to complain or call. I'm just not that type of person. But I did. And so I called and the guy was like, I said, hey, you know, I'm just calling to see, you know, why my offers have faded or whatever. And he says, oh, sir, it's an algorithm. So there's nothing I can do. And I, so then I explained about my brother and Don and that. And he's like, okay, you know what? Let me take a look. And he did look. He's like, oh, actually, your play, they, um, for some reason, they marked your uh, tier status wrong. So I went from like level two to level five. So he just changed that in the computer and then boom got uh comped weekend so you know what moral of the story is if you think you know your offers aren't where they should be it might not hurt to just give them a call and they can at least check right so 
anyway, that's enough of me talking. I'm gonna go in here and do some eddy cam. So I decided for this trip, just to change up the eddy cam a little bit, um, make it a little more structured for myself and just a little fun, like a little bit different. I'm gonna do like a theme every every day this trip. So I I think one day is gonna be my favorite games. I'm gonna play those. I might do that this morning. I'll let you know for sure. Um, I think El Cortez with the new machines they have, they I think they pretty much have everything I like. And then I'm gonna do one session where it's games I've never played. So it'll be all new machines to me. Maybe not to you, but to me. And then I've got a couple of other ideas just to kind of switch it up and and uh, give me a little bit of a, sort of like a challenge when I'm playing in the morning. But I'm gonna try and chip away at the losses. I am treating this, you know, brand new day, new bankroll, forget the losses of last night, but in the back of my mind, if I can just slowly chip away, that's the only thing about getting crushed the first night is you're so far behind. But I've had such a good run on gambling. That's why I even said to Heather coming back, I'm like, law of averages, it's gonna be tough to be up gambling again. I think every trip over the last year and a half, I've been up at least gambling. I know the one trip in January with my parents, we're up enough to cover the whole trip, so. Okay, I'm blabbing on and on. Here we go. Let's go into the Cortez. Okay, first game today on the Eddie's favorite games to play Eddie camp session is obviously gonna be the monkey fire lake. Double monkey. All right, I'll come back when I get the bonus. Okay, the Monkey Fire Link, the, the place where you put your card, it wouldn't work. It was broken, so I only played 40 bucks in there. I don't wanna go too hard on something where I'm not even gonna get any points from it. So next up on my favorite games, all aboard. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go 10 cents, 250 a press. All right, from my 60 bucks, I got down to 31, but I got the trades. Small numbers, but anything can drop. Here we go. Let's go, one train at a time. Come on, baby. Let's start off the day right. Here we go, all aboard. Yes, load it up, load it up. Come on, big number. Okay, still small. That's okay, one train at a time, yes. All aboard! I am just happy to get a bonus. Honestly, that's what it's all about. Oh, here we go. Another one. Come on, one more. We don't need to die yet. Still early. Yes! Thank you. All aboard! Okay, let's get something with words here. Right here, words. Oh, even smaller. <laughs> yes! Okay. This is good. This is good. Come on. Works? No. Alright. We'll go one at a time then. Oh. Come on, trains. Don't end yet. We can do another one. Come on. Alright. 126 though. Nice bonus. Nice to be up. Good start. I'm going to keep playing a little more on this and then when I go to the next game I'll show you anyway. All right, next up on my favorite games, Prosperity Link. I cashed out all aboard for 130. So here we go, let's see if I can get the bonus on this one. Okay, I'm on five cents, only a dollar 90. I got down to 67, I got the bonus though. All very small numbers. <laughs> so here we go, need to fill it up. Oops, all right, one more. Come on, yes, all right, at least we're on, there's not much there, but gives us two boards, here we go. Yes, just keep filling it. Something with words would be nice too. No, 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 no. I had a feeling it was just gonna be a small bonus. Let's see what we got here, yeah. Hey, at least I'm getting bonuses. That was the thing yesterday. 
Mike and I, so we would put 200 in. Some of the games we were low rolling, like a dollar 25. So you have 200 bucks in there and you can't get anything? Yeah, that was only uh, 21 bucks there. All right, I'm gonna keep going a little bit longer. I think I can get another one. All right, I ended up upping my bet to 380 on Prosperity Link, ended up getting nothing. So next up on my favorite games, Golden Century Dragon Link. 10 cents, 250 a press. I'll be back with the bonus. All right, four spins in, got the bonus. There's one, uh, two good numbers there. So we'll see what happens. Let's go, see if I can attract some bigger numbers. Let's go, come on. Again, a quick bonus. That's all I can ask for. Okay, these are all really small numbers now. Drop the miner in for 500, let's go. Come on. Okay, now just don't die. Yes. I'll take those 250s if it keeps me going. Yes. Come on. All right. Two more. Let's get that. Let's get down to that last spin. Come on. No way. Give me one. Oh. Okay, nice quick bonus though. Gives me some money to play with, so that's good. Oh, not bad, not bad. Over 80 bucks. Yeah, 87.50. Nice. All right, I'm gonna keep going on this one. All right, three spins later, and we've got a mini. That's a hundy. Here we go. Let's get some more balls with words. How about a blue one for 500? Or a green one for 684? Let's go. Or anything, just anything. Don't do that. Yes. Even though that still would have been a good bonus, I can't stand when you get the hold and spin and you get three dead spins. It's kind of one of the worst feelings. <laughs> All right, this is decent. Come on, feel free to drop a big number in there. All right, this is good. How about a thousand dollar ball? Drop one of those. Yes. Two. All right, same as last time, two left, come on. Even though I probably will not get the grand, I like to get to that last spin, come on. Put one in there so we get that last spin. Right here. Ah, oh, okay. Another good bonus and nice and quick too. This is good. This is how I wish it went with Mike last night. I feel bad. He kept saying too, he's like, I'm so embarrassed. I'm with my favorite vloggers and the gambling sucks. I'm like, hey man, it's Vegas, this is how it goes. 170 on 250. That's awesome. Okay, now we got some money to play. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, next up on my favorite, some of my favorite games, Wonder for Boost. So I do like this one. Lots of potential. Uh, I cashed out Dragon Link for 300. So I'm gonna, I ended up going up to five bucks a press on Dollar Denom. I like to go a little higher once I'm up, see if I can catch something. Uh, I'll come back if I get the bonus on this one. Sorry, when I get it. <laughs> Okay, I ended up breaking out even on uh, Wonder 4 Boost. I couldn't get the bonus, but I got enough good line hits to keep playing and got me back even. So I'm up 100 on the session. So this is what I'm doing. I put 100 in here. I'm going to have 10 spins at pinball. And I'm either going to break out even on the morning session or it's going to be huge. <laughs> here we go. Right away. Okay. I'll come back if I get it. I did not get it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sucks. Anyway, even session. Uh, so we are going to see Bill Burr. So we're going to head to the Strip this afternoon. Uh, we're going to we're going to go. I think to Harrah's. Uh, we're going to go to Din Tai Fung for dinner for sure, and then Bill Burr at Park MGM. So I'm super excited about that. He's one of my favorite comedians, so I've never seen him live in person, so it's gonna be fun. 
All right, next time you'll see me, we'll be with Heather. All right, here's the update. It's noon. Uh, I hung out in the sports book for a while, watched some races. It's the Oaks today uh, down at Churchill Downs. Uh, so Heather is still slow moving. Uh, she's not feeling that great. So I'm gonna go grab us some lunch and then we're gonna, she's gonna get ready then go out. Uh, she did great yesterday with the broken foot. Obviously the drinks help, so <laughs> that was good though. Um, but yeah, I, I played a few more machines, just, you know, puttering around and just can't catch anything. I was playing max bet on Moolah and I got the, I saw the Unicow twice, but wouldn't line it up. That would have been amazing. Max bet Moolah or uh, Unicow. I do like coming to Vegas in December, November, January, like in the winter, you know, get away from the cold at home. But man, when it's sunny like this, it's not too hot. There's still a nice breeze. You can't, I, I just walk around here all day. I'll give Heather lots of time to recover. But yeah, it's beautiful here out on Fremont East. Oh, just love it. So I'm finally gonna try Dirt Dog. Uh, I got the DUI dog and some Asada fries. So we'll see how it is. And then Heather just wants a slice of cheese pizza. I'll grab that from Evil Pie on my way back. Fremont's already starting to get the party going. Okay, it's 2.30 in the afternoon and hop along, Heather is alive. So I guess the hangover pills only work if you're not too drunk to forget to take them, <laughs> right? Yeah, I definitely forgot, don't be like me. And yeah. even in my video, when I was explaining the, like what to take, I was like, and this is important, take this before bed and I didn't. Yeah. And I didn't take off my makeup. I didn't do anything. Like it was brutal. That's okay. We so it was a lazy start to the day, but <laughs> now we have the whole evening ahead of us. We're headed to Din Tai Fung and Bill Burr. So we're gonna go to the Cosmo first. We got a few hours. Uh walk around there, play in there, and go from there. See you over there. We'll you. Alright, we made it to the Cosmo. Uh, traffic in Vegas is normally bad. It's extremely bad right now with all the construction for F1. So it was a rough ride. We almost got hit twice. So, but the Uber driver was fine. I didn't mention yesterday, we took a cab from the airport to El Cortez because it was cheaper than Uber. And we're, I'm, we're both sitting in the back and I can hear a voice and I'm like, that sounds like Dan Schulman, like the Jays play-by-play -play announcer. And then I'm like, why am I hearing that? Anyway, the driver had his other phone on his dash and he's watching the Jays game. So he's like, Is it, who's your team? I'm like, Jays. He's like, want me to turn it up? I'm like, sure. So I don't know if that was the safest thing to have him watching the game, but it was pretty cool that you know, he turned it up. I got to listen, so. All right, we're gonna hit the rewards desk, see if there's any little bit of free play we have here, and then maybe hit a machine. Shot before the slot, we have a buttery ripple. Woo, cheers. cheers. Ooh, that's good. All right, Heather had 75 in free play. So I think you're about six spins in. We're playing 10 cents, three bucks a press on the Monkey Fire Lake. Trevor! That's what uh, Jolie and Chris <laughs> call. Anyway, here we go. Touch it up, let's go. Yes. Ooh, okay, we got some good numbers coming up, but we gotta get there. Yes, two more. He's throwing, he's throwing, yes. There we go, it's 24 extra. Keep going. Yes, one more. Go down, yeah. Okay, next row has 36, we need two. 
We need one. Come on, throw it down, my man. Let's go. No, his arm's not what we need ourselves. Yes! That's another 46. What's okay, 24 at the top. Come on. Yes, one more. These aren't huge numbers, but still it'd be nice to get all the way to the top, and she did. Holy wide open now. Come on, you can keep throwing. No. One more. Okay. That's a good bonus on free play, though. Heather's going to be the one to redeem us from all the gambling losses. There we go. See if, yeah. you, if you hit it, will it go super fast? I tried. Oh. <laughs> Winning will make me feel better. Yeah, winning, yeah, winning helps everything. <laughs> Nice and slow, climb up. There we go. Wow, this is more than I thought actually. 178. That is a great bonus on free play. Okay, we're in the bonus here. Five cents, 250 to impress. Uh, Heather blew her profit from the fire link on dollar to dollar. Dragon link. And then we also lost the answer to got five again. Uh, we haven't won any of these six bucks so far. Yeah, it's it, this thing's been going on its own. Like yeah. I didn't even start there the bonus and it started. There we go. Uh, let's get the bonus in the bonus here. We Ha, ha, ha. 
Gotta land it now. Because of me. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. That's alright. Still good. Still good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we made it over to Click, and we are just getting two drinks before we head over to our dinner reservation. Yeah. So you can guess, but I got a mojito, <laughs> and Eddie got apple crush. Yeah. And the waitress said that it was her favorite drink that they currently have I'm on the menu. I'll try it. It's good, actually. Yeah, it's strong. We didn't cheers. 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 Oh. We figured. We're just losing on the slots. We, we were low rolling uh, the old school moolah. I'm like, this is what my life has come to. Um, <laughs> but anyway. $4 so, El Cortez hot dogs yes, and low rolling. Yes, I'm getting old. So <laughs> we figured let's, might as well come in here and buy expensive cocktails <laughs> instead of sitting and just losing. So. Well, we originally did come for our member drink, but they can't do that until, until after, after six. six. So. so hopefully maybe after Bill Burr, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. If not. Made it to Din Tai Fung and Eddie got his drink. It's a pear, I don't even know what it is. I think it was the pear leche martini. Martini, yeah. 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 And then I got the leche, if I'm saying that right, because I know I say everything Lychee, wrong. Yeah. Lychee. Um, mojito. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Yeah, mine's really good, too. Really good. Mm. Yeah. And she also said the flower was edible? No, the fruit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Din Tai Fung. Uh, it was amazing. Really good, yeah. My favorite were the soup dumplings, so definitely get those. It's kind of like the ravioli at Berries, <laughs> but the soup dumplings. We weren't going to order, and the waitress is like, oh, you should try them if it's your first time here, because that's their signature dish. I'm so glad she said it, because that was the best one we yeah, had. Yeah, it was but amazing. the noodles were good. Everything was great. Everything was good, yeah. My drink was really good. Yep, yeah, same. So it came to 130. Oh. Uh, so 131 with tip. Right. So not horrible. We and we ordered way too much. Like <laughs> we didn't finish everything. I am stuffed right now. I don't think we realized some things came with six. Yeah. So, but highly recommend. We were so many people told us about it, and uh, it, it was definitely good. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say too. So I had Dirt Dog today. I know people rave about that. It was really good, but it was 14 dollars. And the hot dog at El Cortez is four. So I know I sound old here, but it wasn't worth the 10 bucks. Like it had pastrami and bacon, yeah. But the hot dog at El Cortez, onions, tomatoes, a little ketchup, it's good. So, I love those hot dogs. So too. anyway, I, I, I really enjoyed Dirt Dog. Like the food was good, but I don't think I would go back and if I'm downtown and pay 14 when I can just grab a four dollar. Right, yeah, exactly. So, all right, we're making our way over to Park MGM. Maybe do a little gamble. We're, we're kind of low rolling now because we're starting to lose, so... Alright, we'll see you over there. Thank you. Okay, we are at the Park MGM Sportsbook and I just got a Raspberry Vodka and Sprite and Eddie got a Jack and Coke for making his hedge bet. <laughs> Got to lock in some profit on a sports ticket today. Get some of uh, get some of my winnings back or losses back. <laughs> 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 
goodbye phone. See you after the show. Okay, we're in the hotel lobby back from the Bill Burr show. It was hilarious. So, so funny. good. Yeah, he put on a great show. Yeah. Yeah, dying laughing. So it was well worth it. Um, we just came back. The traffic was crazy it's down here outside. by El Cortez, like on the side streets. And we're like, what's going on? We walked in El Cortez. It's That's crazy. the most people we've seen in there ever. Yeah, so definitely. we didn't go down Fremont, so I don't know if it's the same, maybe because Cinco de Mayo, mm -hmm. but Ike's Bar is packed. Both sides of the bar, I've never seen it like that. It's crazy. And so. the hot dog line was yeah, so long. We're eating another hot dog as a theme this trip. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, it's a it's eleven thirty, so it's a little early, but um, we yeah, we're not really food. drinking right now, so we're just gonna have a hot dog. We talked about do we play some cards, but it's insane. It would be fun in there mm -hmm. if we were drinking, winning, you know what I mean? So uh, I don't know. We're going to end the vlog here. If we end up going out again and something awesome happens, we will film it. But right. for now, we're going to put an end to day two. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a fun day. Uh, food was good. Bill Burr was good. And we couldn't take our phones in. Yeah, they were I in those we yonder a, pouches. There and there was views, yeah. so many good things to see from even inside the theater, like mm -hmm. the view to outside, and we weren't able to film anything. Right. So, I mean, I get not being able to film inside the show, but not yeah. being able to show you guys anything at all was kind of yeah. crappy. But well, we got the festival tomorrow, so it's going to be jam packed day for us. Mm -hmm. We're looking for it's going to be fun. And the weather is going to yeah. be not as hot as last right. year, so that's so a that's bonus good. for sure. Yeah. So gambling wise, we'll put the totals up. Uh, even Eddie Camp session, losing in the afternoon. <laughs> made a sports ticket. I hedged it, thank God, right before we went into the concert. So I locked in a profit because I would have lost right. on the third leg of the parlay. So anyway, overall, another good day in Vegas. And we will see you for day three. All right, here are the totals for day two. Uh, gambling down 400. Another losing day on the slots. Uh, I actually hedged my sports ticket. I had a three-team parlay. Came down to the last game, hockey over. I had it under. I knew it was going to end up going over. I hedged it, thank God. Got a profit of 250 out of it. So that was nice. Cut into the gambling losses. Uh, drinks, we only spent 59 bucks. Not a big drinking day. Uh, tips in the casino for drinks, $7. Just shows you, you know, we weren't drinking a lot uh, at all. Uh, food, we spent 183 That was uh, Dirt Dog, uh, Din Tai Fung, really good. Uh, El Cortez hot dogs, like that's enough hot dogs for this trip. And miscellaneous was uh, $70. So, Total for the day cost Heather and I 469 Not too bad, uh, especially with, with the way the gambling's been going. But really fun day, and Bill Burr was just hilarious. So come back, join us for day three.